Hey everyone, welcome back to the Respiratory Therapy Resource Center. I appreciate you clicking on my video today. So if you could do me a favor and just subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it so I can continue making videos just like this one for your continued enjoyment. Have a great day. Bye. Hey everybody. So today's video is about the healthcare team. Who is in the hospital working alongside respiratory therapists? And before we begin, don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com. I have some new eBooks coming out that I think you'll like. So let's move on. So who, who works in the hospital? Who's part of the healthcare team? You have the respiratory therapist, the nurse, the pharmacy and the lab people, the patients and the families, the doctors, the APPs, stands for advanced practice providers, and then the physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech language pathologist, and radiology tech who takes all of our amazing chest x-rays. Okay, so a little bit about each of these so the respiratory therapists, we're in charge of the vent, ventilator changes, setting up and troubleshooting the ventilator, right? Chest x-rays, reading and interpreting chest x-rays. Once you have experience, get really good at that, right? That'd be a great skill for you to have, right? Airway, everything to do with the airway, everything to do with the endotracheal tube, trachs, all the oxygen modalities, nasal cannula, small mask, non-rebreather, partial non-rebreather, all of these different oxygen modalities. Medications, the respiratory medications that we give, airway clearance, when you have a bad chest x-ray, that's you, buddy, that's you. You got to clear up that chest x-ray, ABGs, interpreting ABGs, and making changes to the vent off of the ABGs, right? Nurse, what does the nurse do? Sedation and medications, huge part of nursing. She advocates for the safety of her patient, right? Anything she thinks is unsafe, she has 100% authority to bring it to leadership's attention, right? She's the monitor and first responder. And I say she, but there's also male nurses, okay? She oversees all care of the patient. Everyone who enters the room, all the different consultation doctor teams who come in, all the PT, all the RTs, she is in charge of everything for that patient, right? A lot of responsibility lies on the nurse. She collects the labs, all of the blood samples, all of the stool samples. She's in charge of all the social concerns with having to do with the family. She's the one who mainly talks with the family, right? All the social concerns, she does the turns, the dressing changes on the wounds, on the IVs, on the lines, right? Hygiene, bathing the patient, all the lines, tubes, and drains for the patient. She manages all of those things, right? Pharmacy, attends code situations, gets all the meds drawn up, verifies all the doctor's orders for all medications, delivers all medications to the proper patient, does all the dosing and preparation of all the medications, making sure everybody is getting the correct dose. Lab people, Respiratory therapists and the nurses collect all the samples, right? So we collect the sputum samples and then nursing collects the blood and the urine and the stool samples. And so what are the samples, right? What are the types of labs that they run? Usually Chem 10, CBCs, the complete blood count, type and screen for matching blood, right? D-dimers, troponin, ELISA antibody testing, CMP, cultures, BUN. They run all of these types of lab tests, right? And then if you want to know types of viruses and different types of bacteria, they also run all of those tests for COVID-19, flu, RSV, TB, C. diff, right? So they run the tests to help us find out which infection the patient is currently battling, and it's going to change the way that we treat the patient. Very, very important job, right? And then we move on to the doctor, the MD or the DO, and as well as the advanced practice providers, the physician assistant and nurse practitioners, right? So their main role is to diagnose the patient, right? And in order to do that, they have to order all of the tests, the labs, the cultures, the radiographs, right? CT scans, ultrasounds, all of those things. Dialysis, medications, fluids, ventilator, right? And procedures. They also do a lot of procedures, right? They place the lines, the A lines, the central lines, the Swans Gans lines, and intubation, right? So just to mention a few, don't forget, this is a very fast general overview of everybody's role in the healthcare team. 
So the PT and OT are looking at the muscles, looking at exercise, looking at the lungs, right? They also help us a lot in mobilizing the patient to help their lungs open up more after surgeries and different things like that, right? Athletic injuries, they also specialize in athletic injuries, you know, the MCL, the ACL tears, all of those things, right? Post-stroke and post-heart attack, LTAC units, right? So LTACs are long-term acute care centers, and so... They work a lot in those areas where people had strokes, people had heart attacks, right? They also work in the ICU, they work on the floors, they assess the rigidity of muscles, they help the patients move their muscles and not become so atrophied, right? Radiology tech, super important job, right alongside with us, right? So they take all the chest x-rays, the KUBs for the abdomen, the chabs of the full bodies, right? The CT scans, which I believe they need another level of education for or certification in order to man the CT scan machines and the MRI machines, right? So radiology technologists work in all of these areas. They do the portable chest x-rays, the CT scans, the MRIs, right? So the speech language pathologist, so they're going to work closely with us whenever we're switching our patient into the Passimir valve, right? So the speaking valve, right? The PMV or the Passimir valve helps our patients who are trached speak. So they have to be evaluated by the speech language pathologist before they are placed on a speaking valve, right? They do the swallow studies. They're in charge of a lot of the airway things, the speaking, the tongue, the vocal cords, right? All of those things, right? They also work a lot in long-term care, right? Because you're also rehabbing those patients, right? The dietitian. So I've met a few dietitians where I work and they're very sweet people and they manage the nutrition of the patient, right? The metabolic needs of the patient. It is a lot of math that they have to do calculating the calories, kilocalories. I don't really know the calculations they do. I'm not a dietitian, but I know it's a lot and I know it's a big responsibility because you want to make sure that your patient is getting the proper nutrition that they need. And that is the role of the dietitian, right? So all of these things are intertwined. All of these roles have to do with patient care and the healthcare team. And I hope I gave you a short and valuable rundown about who works in the hospital and different roles that everyone plays. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you don't mind taking a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out respiratorytherapyrc.com. I have some eBooks available you guys might like. So check it out. Have a great day. Bye.